Right, how are we getting on? Okay, so this week's tips is about, um, well, I'm going to do it with a driver, but it was with any golf club. Work on your follow-through position. So try and find out what sort of speed you can do and not fall over. So obviously a driver, you're trying to swing it fast because there's a level of commitment, but we want you to try and feel like you don't fall over. And the basics would be, during the back swing, we've got the weight on the inside of our right foot, as we hit it, we move the weight to our left side, keeping your head behind the ball. And then we finish with all the weight on our left side. Okay. Try and feel like you're doing that, but feel like when you finish, you're maintaining your spine so your right shoulder finishes lower. Yeah. So you can see on the way back, our left shoulder goes down and you're trying to mimic the same posture as you finish. Don't sort of fall over. Yeah. Okay, so let's try and do that. It's just about trying to find your pace to then figure out um, how to feel like the right shoulder stays low. Okay, so I might take you a few goes, but let's give it a go. Set ourselves up, good posture, so I'm standing tall. I don't need the club flat, I can just let my arms relax. Okay, set myself up. Got a bit of spine tilt, 60% of weight's there. Gonna turn and hit. And there we go, you just got to try and feel like you can keep your balance enough to be able to keep that right shoulder lower when you finish. So, on another note, um, when you're trying to get better at golf, just consider um, getting advice, okay? So obviously I provide tips, they're very generic tips. Um, I still don't know what you're doing. And if you apply um, learning anything, like we go to school, we have terms, and if you complete the term, you're probably better off because you've attended every session, etc. Uh, if you want to learn a language, there's a course. You complete the course, you obtain a certificate, you're probably better at that language because you've completed it, you've attended every session. You don't just turn up for one or two thinking you've learned that subject, okay? And you need to treat golf the same. So I run a coaching program, which is a minimum commitment of four months. You have to attend for four months. And I know that if I've got you for that long, you are complete the course, you attend every session, it's planned, it's deliberate, it's personalized to you, you will get better. Yeah. But if you just invest in a course of lessons and there's no structure, you might just turn up to one or two, life gets in the way and you just don't complete it then 